I want to tell you that there are uh, three kinds of work and the power of focus to get to focus on one thing and to get that one thing done without doing multiple things. You have the goal, objective, you've gathered some knowledge, you maybe you want to become a chef, you eliminate the distractions and you go and actually do something with it. Multitasking. Is it good or bad for you? That's what this podcast is going to be all about. Now, I just want to give you an example. Let's say I'm sure you've experienced this scenario. You're sitting in your office and uh, you're doing your work and you suddenly get a phone call your friend calls you and says hey this place is really good let's go out in the weekend and let's go you know hang out over there then you cut the call keep it down and you go and do your research you search on google you search for this place and then you click on another link and then you end up on instagram you get to see about this place and it seems pretty you know pretty interesting you go and look at all these different pictures and uh, all these different reels and you're scrolling and you're seeing all the different videos of this particular place and you're like wow we're going to go there and then before you know it the you find another reel and you start consuming that and then that leads you to something else and then that reel somebody says something and then you go to youtube and you go on youtube and you search for that and then you find something else over there and then as you're watching that video it pulls you into a youtube short and before you know it it's lunch break and you wasted 2 hours of your time why because you got that one phone call now what if you had done this research later what if you had gone and actually just trusted that okay this place is good we'll just go there and check it out this is the problem with multitasking a lot of people think multitasking is good or they feel that multitasking is a badge of honor yes i can do this i can do this i can do this i can do my work and i can learn something but a lot of studies have proved that multitasking actually lowers your iq because it affects your brain when you have multiple things to work on so i want to tell you that there are uh, three kinds of work for some types of work you could do multitasking in the sense let's say if you're doing something repetitive you can listen to music like i love uh, building systems anything that's not really going to be consuming the the thought side of it too much or the contemplation side of my brain too much you can and if it's a repetitive task you can use music okay or you can use something else now that is not multitasking you're actually reinforcing your uh, thought process or you're anchoring your uh, your, your brains to achieve something using supplement okay or an additional thing now let's talk about the types of work the first kind of work is uh, consumption learning when you're consuming information okay you're listening to this podcast you're watching a video on youtube you're watching something else so when you are consuming information you got to be focused because if you are having a whatsapp tab open on the other side or a facebook or an instagram on the other side you may be listening to me speak but you're not capturing the essence of the information it is just sound hitting you you're not able to decode and make sense of it and did you know that when you're doing focused work when you get distracted it takes at least 20 minutes to come back to that zone it takes 20 minutes to come back to that zone of productivity and that's where the magic is and that's why most people today they are not productive they are not, not able to achieve things because we are living in a world full of pop ups there's a pop up buzzing on your phone every second somebody does a whatsapp post a whatsapp message an instagram post a facebook ping a youtube ping something keeps buzzing all the time this is really killing the brains of an entire generation and most people don't realize that so the first kind of work is a consumption kind of work and when it comes to consumption again not recommended to multitask okay not recommended because when you focus when you take notes you are able to extract the essence out of it okay again there's a second kind of a task which is contemplation kind of work or uh, processing knowledge so let's say you have listened to this podcast i want you to go and sit after this podcast just for 15 to 20 minutes 
put your phone on airplane mode and just see if you can process this and bring out the brilliance or the essence of this topic for you for yourself even though i'm giving you general information see how can this apply to you which area of your life can you apply this how can you uh, do a basic mental audit in your own life to see where is your multitasking more and where is your multitasking less okay so the second type of work that most of us do is a contemplation work and this is very very important the processing side is what helps you bring out the best for example when you're cooking food there are a lot of ingredients you get the recipe and then you put all of the ingredients into the you know into the cooker and you start cooking but it has to cook right before you actually bring the food out and start serving and you know and experiencing the food there is a processing that has to happen now many of us we don't allow processing to happen we consume 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 more and more and more and more and there is no output okay so the second kind of work is processing and for processing also multitasking is not good and the third kind of a work that we know all do is creation creating things first is consumption second is contemplation and third is creation okay the creation is more of expressing whatever you have learned so whatever you have learned your process whatever you have processed you express just like you have many ingredients it cooks you allowed it allowed to process and then you express that you bring out the food in and you decorate it in a beautiful way for people to consume and eat now for all these three types of work which are the most important kinds of work multitasking is not going to help imagine if you are cooking and you are doing something else okay or you just put something else and there's no mind going behind it or imagine if you are uh, serving the food but in, there's no diligence in serving you use whatever comes your way and there's no good presentation of things or even when you're learning and when you're starting a process you're just doing everything randomly when everything starts randomly and if it it is processed randomly and if you're presenting randomly there is going to be a very poor output in terms of efficiency and that's what multitasking does most people today i'm mentioning this again they put multitasking as a badge of honor thinking that wow i am a multitasker i can do everything but i'm so sorry to say that your con- your consumption is going to be at the poorest quality your contemplation is going to be at the poorest quality and your creation is also going to be at the poorest quality and some of the best and most successful people in the world who have achieved great things they have used the power of focus and the power of focus to get to focus on one thing and to get that one thing done without doing multiple things so i want to give you a few tips how can you really improve your ability to get results by overcoming this thing called multitasking okay the first thing is to clearly define your goals or what your objectives are okay before you start anything because once you know what your objective is then you'll be in a better position to either say yes or no to whatever action that you want to take okay so the first step is define your objective everything in in every every area of your life okay the second step is to gather information so if let's say your goal is to grow in your career second step is to gather information is to get into the consumption mode so that you can achieve that particular goal second step is gather now along with gather the immediate next step is to eliminate distractions that is going to take you towards the goal so suppose now you know that you want to become a really good chef you start gathering information and suddenly you see an ad of uh, artificial intelligence okay ai now if you know that your goal is to become a chef you may not you'll not uh, consider looking and clicking on that ad so you're going to be eliminating things that are not taking you towards that goal if it is not relevant or falling in line with your goal so the third step is eliminate distractions the fourth step to overcome multitasking is to use that knowledge what you have gathered okay you have the goal objective you have gathered some knowledge you maybe want to become a chef you eliminate the distractions and you go and actually do something with it okay use that knowledge fifth step is application of that knowledge uh, over a longer period of time so there's a continuous it's not that you do it for the you do it once and then you just 
uh, and you've mastered it. Now, masters have failed more times than a student has ever tried. So it's all about repetition of the same thing again and again and again. So a repetitive application of that knowledge is uh, step number five. So step number one is setting a goal, objective, gather, eliminate, continuous application. Okay. Uh, and then what happens? Uh, yeah, use and then apl and continuous application. And then once you have applied continuously, go back to the gathering step because you can gather new information based on, on your own application. And this cycle, right, is going to help you overcome multitasking. Otherwise, you're very random. You're going to be doing multiple things. I'm just going to reiterate this once again, giving the example of a chef. You want to become a chef, a world-class chef. Number one, if that's your objective, that's the goal you've set. Step two is you gather information. Step three, you eliminate things that are not going to take you there. Step four, you use it. Step five, you continuously apply that knowledge. And as you're applying that knowledge, you're going to be learning more. You'll know what are your gap areas. Step six, you go back together. Step seven, you again eliminate, use. So this process is the fastest way for you to kill multitasking and get to your goals faster. And of course, there are some things, like I mentioned, uh, some tasks uh, where you can multitask. Like say you're driving and you can listen to music. Okay, You're spending time with your kids and uh, maybe doing something else. Okay. Again, thinking about uh, multiple other things. But when it comes to like achieving things, always remember there are three steps. Consumption, contemplation, creation. We as humans have the power to create. We have an amazing mind. Many of us underestimate the power of the mind. We hardly use 5 to 10% of what our mind can really do. Why? Because everybody is living in autopilot. Everyone is just multitasking. So, Start living a more deliberate life. Be very specific on what you want to do and where you want to go. And uh, apply these tips that I shared with you. Goal, gather, eliminate, use, apply, and then again gather. And when you go with this process, you will be able to get more done in less time. You'll be in a state of flow. And, uh, and if you're able to work in chunks of one to two hours, putting your phone in airplane mode and deleting all the apps from your phone, you'll be surprised how much you can achieve. I hope this podcast has inspired you. If you found this useful, please share your notes or if you have any other ideas, please tag me on social media, on Instagram, Facebook and also tag Success Gyan so that we can continue this conversation on social media. And uh, I would like to hear more from you on what do you think about multitasking? What do you think? Is it good or bad from your perspective? I've just shared my perspective uh, based on my experience, but I'm sure there's, there's more perspectives to it. All the best. Catch you in the next episode.